Warning, seizure. This game and review contain rapidly flashing images that may trigger epilepsy. If you have a history of seizures, either click away from this video or proceed with caution. Seriously, there's a lot of those in this game. Surprisingly rough around the edges, but I guess it's good to be back. Oh, <clears throat> Omega 8 reporting in. A bit of backstory for the DJ Max series and my experience. Currently developed and published by Korean company NeoWiz, DJ Max is one of the lesser known yet noteworthy rhythm series on arcade machines, the PSP, and smartphones. I played Classic Kwai, and I freaking loved it while my cousin's PSP still worked. I also played the mobile games, DJ Max Ray and DJ Max Technica Q. They'd be respectable if they weren't predatory. Ray had nearly every song behind a paywall, and Technica Q had constant pop-up ads. Not banner ads, pop-up ads. Also, the series temporarily became Tap Sonic. Well, according to Wikipedia, it's a spin-off. But not only does it have DJ Max songs, there was no new DJ Max game for four years, according to Wikipedia. Gotta love leeching off the mobile market. I've only played Tap Sonic Top, and it's actually pretty decent. Then finally, in 2017, DJ Max Respect was released for the PlayStation 4. Except I didn't have a PlayStation 4. So I did my thing for another three years, and holy shit, it's on Steam now. In the form of Respect V. I boot up the game. Well, shit. For those who don't know, XIGN Code 3 is an anti-cheat program for online games. But here's the thing. First, it's for online games. In other words, Respect V requires a constant internet connection for it to run. Can't even play it when Comcast pulls the plug. Which it loves to do nowadays. There's only two game modes that require a connection, so why be lazy about it? Remember SimCity's launch? Remember when it did that? Second, it's a rootkit. It installs itself in the Windows registry. The fucking registry! And monitors every file open in the last 48 hours. So if you've opened an XIGN Code 3 game after opening some confidential stuff, like work files or family photos, guess what? Your personal privacy has been breached. If you absolutely value your online privacy, you can stop watching this video because in this respect... <coughs> I swear I did not mean for that to happen. This game is a definite no-go. As for me, let's just say that I've accepted that everyone's online privacy, including my own, is long gone. Press any key to pay respect. A missed opportunity if I ever saw one. As standard of DJ Max, Respect has mostly Korean music of varying genres. K-pop, electronic, hip-hop, trance, weeaboo pop, and then some. If you're familiar with Beat Mania, then this should look similar. Four to six button layouts with varying difficulties per song. Notes fall down in a straight line. Press the right note as close to the line as possible, in correspondence with the music. When the fever meter is filled up, press space to add a combo multiplier, up to times 5. Or just turn on the automatic fever option if you're playing Respect V. Convenient, but not always beneficial if you're going for a high score. Respect V also has an additional 8 button mode and 5 exclusive songs, two of which are from League of Legends. I never said I was good. Still, the gameplay's fun and challenging. Just keep in mind that the notes correspond with the music, so screwing up can make it sound like you had one too many beers. Besides that, there are different game modes. Freestyle lets you play any song that you've unlocked. 
You'd think this is straightforward, but what throws me off is that you set the difficulty and number of buttons in the song selection screen, not in a separate prompt after choosing the song. Because of this, I tend to accidentally start the song on the easiest settings, even though I did not want to. Also, each song has individual note speeds, like it can't set a default speed for every song, even in the settings. If you don't want your notes to be molasses speed, you have to change it for every new song before or during gameplay. I know the speed depends on the tempo, but come on! Mission Mode provides challenges for a selection of songs. One mission restricts the number of times you miss, another fades the notes when they reach the bottom, and so on. Basically the campaign mode. If you're not sure where to start or what music you like, this is a good place. Online lets you play with others over the internet, something that was not present in the original Respect, along with the reason why it has XIGN Code 3. The fucking registry, you'd think there'd be enough backlash to shut that down. It has its own modes, Open Match and Ladder Match. Open Match is the non-competitive mode, and lets you join a lobby to play with either random players or friends. If only there were more open lobbies during this recording. Damn it, Korea, why do you get to have friends? No matter, create my own lobby, figure out how hosting these works, and uh, uh here, have some Takasa. Ladder match is the competitive mode. Select your settings, beat your opponent, and slowly make your way to the top of the DJ Max ladder. Gotta be competitive so that gamers can not only brag about being the best of the best, but also optimize their score techniques and mechanics to pixel perfection. Well played, Deep Penguin. A bit odd that my Steam icon duplicated on yours two out of three times. Air is... interesting. It lets you play a selection of songs, but it doesn't record your score. You don't even have to play, you can just sit back, listen to the music, and see what the chart looks like. You even make comments with other viewers. It's like a mini Twitch, minus the DMCA. I kind of like it. 50 playable songs in Respect, and 55 in Respect V. A bit of a shallow playlist if you ask me, but from my experience so far, most of these songs are pretty enjoyable. If you really want, you can buy more tracks as... DLC. To be fair, dealing with music copyright nowadays is a bit... A bit cumbersome, what with the totalitarian fees and laws. But first of all, four of these is day one DLC. Second, there's a DLC that unlocks all the missions and songs for $10, but not only is that a steep price for laziness, it takes away a primary gameplay goal, playing missions and songs so that you can level up, which unlocks more missions and songs. Third, speaking of DLC, this is some expensive content, all adding up to over $200? Shouldn't some of this be free updates? This game's already fully priced, and what if someone already owns the games in which the DLC is originally from? You're gonna make them buy what's almost the same game again? And fourth, why the hell do I have to pay $10 for skins? Skins! Don't tell me that there's actual effort in these, because I know that. What I'm saying is that instead of overpriced visuals, I can buy these games with that money. Did I mention that Respect V has an always online requirement? But in spite of all that, despite the privacy invading anti-cheat system, despite forcing an active internet connection, despite the DLC, I like this game's gameplay. It's impressive how one can screw up a game before it's even bought, but it's almost exactly how I remember Classic Y over a decade ago. Good music and good action. If you're willing to ignore these glaring practices or possess prior loyalty to the franchise, you might want to check Respect V out. If you absolutely cannot stand for greedy and lazy corporate bullshit, stay away. This is Omega Nate, signing out. I wonder how many people know about this series. Do they even care? That's their business anyways.